hello guys welcome once again and uh, in this video we are going to learn how can you show data in your uh, form as a table you know from your uh, directly from your database so we are going to see that and for that purpose what I will do I will just make some space on my form so to do that I will just remove them these two and uh, I will make my form a little bit bigger and let's select all this content and let's see I move them a little bit here so in order to show my database completely I mean I want to show my complete table from my database into my front end in this form so to do that I will go to the toolbox and I will search here for data grid view and uh, there it is so I will just simply drag it right here and uh, I'll make it a bit bigger and uh, what I need another thing and that is let's say a button and that button uh, I want it to refresh my table and uh, what you know whenever I'll click refresh it should refresh my table and display me the all the data in my table of my database okay so let's get started and let's see how can we do that for that purpose I'll just select this button and uh, change its text to let's uh, refresh table and change it to the refresh table I'm making it a bit bigger so now this is basically my data grid view that I have dragged earlier and this is my button so I will write my code inside this button and I'm telling you once again that I want to display this whole table from my database to my front end okay so I will just double click on that button and it will directly take me to the event of that button and inside here I will write simple code but uh, I will just be needing this first line of string connection and uh, the rest of the code I will write in front of you and will explain you what exactly that code does okay so simply first line that I have told you all about it that data sources are local host port is 8080 in my case and I have told you in my previous videos a lot of times so I recommend you to watch my previous previous videos in order to get to know to that so I'm not going to explain this line because I have explained so many times in my previous videos. So what I'm going to do, I am going to write a command my SQL connection. Yes, this one. And I am going to create a variable or an object of this MySQL connection and uh, new my SQL connection if you are familiar with uh, this one so inside this I am going to pass that string connection I am just going to copy paste this variable name and I am going to paste it right here what it will do it will build a connection with mysql connection you know and uh, i can use this con database connection in order to you know wh wherever i need this because it is a kind of a key to the connection to my database so in the next line i will write a mysql command basically and uh, in my previous videos i have told you about this my SQL command and that is basically used to you know execute the commands from your database 
and uh, those commands that are related to running your queries and uh, to get the data from your database okay so I am considering you familiar with that because I have explained these things well in my previous videos so inside this I am going to write a query in these codes and uh, there I need this one this con database variable in order to make sure that the connection has been done exactly this is the key basically to my connection so this key will open thus that database and this mysql command cmd database is basically you know the key to run my query so let's say i write a query here select staric from database is my database name and dot employees is my table name so that is it and i put a semicolon here that is the basically syntax of my query so in the next line i need to have a try catch block and uh, i am considering you are familiar with the try catch block whatever i will write inside this try block it will be cached uh, sorry it will be run if it is correct if it is not correct it will catch the exception and whatever the error is it will display you okay so let's say exception ex and uh, inside this catch block I am going to show uh, show message box uh, sorry message box dot show exactly message box dot show and uh, inside this I am going to pass that ex variable and whatever the message will be it will be displayed right on you to your dialog box and it will pop up if any exception will occur so in this try block what I am going to use is my SQL data adopter mysql data adopter and uh, let's say i give it a variable name d and new my sql data adopter that is basically a part of the syntax in order to initialize or in order to you know create an object if you are familiar with that okay so if you have uh, you know studied oop then you will be familiar with that definitely but if you haven't then don't worry about it because you don't need to learn that for you know making connection and entering database or something you will learn from here so in the next line uh, so I am going to tell you about uh, first let me tell you about this mysql data adopter what is it this is basically you can see say a bridge between you know database and your data table whatever you can say this is kind of a bridge and this variable can you know connect or can make changes between your database and your table so i hope you get the concept so now in the next line i'm going to use my mysql data adopter and for that purpose to use this i will just write d that is my this variable name and dot now i want to execute this query whatever it is written here so for that purpose i will select command and press equals and i will put that equals to this variable because this is my variable that will help me executing my query so i will write here cmd database and semicolon so i hope you have got the concept about this line so i am going to repeat it once again so let me listen it carefully that mysql data adopter is basically a bridge between my database and my table okay so this d variable will execute this select command and cmd database this will execute this query using this data adopter that is basically a bridge between my connection sorry my database and my table so in the next line 
what I am going to write is that data table okay basically data table is a uh, you know kind of table that is uh, you go that you are going to uh, show on the front end so I'm going to write data table T new data table and parenthesis and in the next line I am going to use my SQL data adopter to fill my uh, you know this data table so that it will be displayed on your front end so it have to have something inside of it so d dot I am using this bridge you know my SQL data adopter and uh, I'll write a fill command and inside these parentheses I am going to pass this T okay so I'll copy paste this T and you are done with this line because uh, after this you are required to write a couple of line of codes and uh, after this I'm going to use binding source binding sorry binding source and uh, binding source is basically a function that you use when you are using multiple functions in your form so I will recommend you to use this and uh, now I am going to use this binding source variable in order to reach to that source of data from where my data is loading and that is my database so that line so you know you need to focus on that line that I'm going to write now I'm going to write s dot data source and I'm going to put that equal to that you know data table so what it is doing this binding source is binding you know this data source that which is this to my front end data table this T that will you know display in my grid view so you may you or your user may able to see that data in your front end table on your front end as you know you can see in your database okay so the next line that I'm going to write is basically related to my form and that is this data grid view you need to go here and see whatever its uh, name is so the name is data grid view one so you need to copy that and come back to the code and just copy paste the name of your data grid view whatever it is so my I have taken the default name I didn't name it by myself so I want to connect my data grid view with my this data source this is my data source basically you can say and uh, you know this binding source variable s has binded my data source with my grid view this data source has been binded to you know this grid view with the help of binding source variable s so hope you got the concept here and in the last line I'm going just going to write the MySQL data adopter the update command and uh, inside this update I am just going to pass this data table so that if it's updated it should show me the table in the table okay so now we are pretty much done with our code and I have explained you everything step by step so I hope you have no confusion in that but if you still have any confusions you can ask me I may put my credentials in and uh, I log in this is telling me login successful and just you need to focus here now if I click this button it will show me this table from my database so I will just click on refresh table and you can see the whole database is appeared here so what if I want to show it 
right away i mean if i just open this my second form i don't want to click this button i need to appear this table directly without clicking this button so for that purpose uh, what i will do i'll just go to my program stop debugging and uh, i just need to copy this whole code and uh, until this catch block and i just need to define a new function right just here i'll write here void and uh, table fill underscore table and uh, this is a vo void function so it will not return anything and i just need to copy this name and call it to the main function right here after initialize component in my public form to that is my main function and i have already told you about functions and calling it into the main so i would recommend you to watch my previous videos so that you may able to know what main function is and what this form means here so after you know initializing or after calling this function right here in the main block what it will do it will refresh my table automatically and it will display my table whenever i will open my second form so let's go and see if my data of my table appears directly or not so this is my credentials i'm login login successful so you can see without pressing this button all the data has appeared here so now i want to do one more thing if i add like eight if i add one more name and i will click insert it should be inserted here so let's insert one thing here and harry username should be harry and the password should be har so if I, now i click insert it is telling me values are successfully inserted and i have totally explained you what insert update and delete functions are so you can go back and watch my previous videos for that but now if you see the values have been successfully inserted but it has not yet displayed like here so but if i refresh my table you will see that value here like if i refresh you can see that harry value has come here so now what i want if i you know updating my value or inserting my value if i am you know entering credentials here if i press this insert button i want this value directly appear here without pressing this button so that is simple you can just go to your fill table and just you need to sorry co copy the name of your fill table function and you need to go to your form and if you click this insert button twice you will get to that code of your this uh, button and right after this catch block you need to call your function right here that function in which the refresh table code has been written so you just need to call that function here and if you start your program now and put your credentials john123 and if you log in log in successful you are you know to your form here so now if i add my next value so e name should be like h o p h o p the password should be h i i and if i insert this you need to see here the new value will directly appear here so if i insert values are successfully inserted okay and you can see hop directly appears here so you can do that with the update and delete too so you just need to call that function here in the update code and in the delete code and you will be done so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching and please rate comment subscribe bye for now